We are back with that newly revealed UFO program at the Pentagon. The government has spent millions of dollars investigating UFOs like this one right there. It was spotted by Navy pilots. And Nick Watt has a closer look at the program. Just one of many alleged sightings investigated by the secret $22 million UFO unit run from the Pentagon. It's roasted. A real life X Files. I've seen things that I cannot deny. Here's another, what pilots describe as a 40 foot long tic tac, 100 miles off the California coast. I have never seen anything in my life that had the performance, the acceleration. Keep in mind, this thing had no wings. Commander David Fravor was piloting an FA 18 on a training mission that day in 2004. And it's moving around, left, right, forward, back. The radar immediately starts getting jammed. All of a sudden, it takes off. No aircraft that we know of like that. I think it was not from this world. I just know it was really impressive, really fast, and uh, I would like to fly it. The Pentagon telling ABC News the Advanced Aviation Threat Identification Program ended in the 2012 time frame. It was determined there were other higher priority issues that merited funding. So we always joke, maybe it was trying to communicate with something under the water. You know, I've seen Star Trek with the whales. <laughs> I don't know if it was alien life, but I will say that in an infinite universe with multiple galaxies that we know of, that if we're the only planet with life, it's a pretty lonely universe. Now, there are often rational explanations, but Commander Fravor hasn't heard one yet for his sighting. And George and Paula, according to sources quoted in the New York Times, the military still listens to soldiers and sailors and airmen, still investigates what might be out there. I don't know, that visual, I'm not positive that it's not the Millennium Falcon I saw. Star Wars yesterday, <laughs> the story broke yesterday, and it kind of looks like it rotating there in the sky, Nick. So that's my little theory.